All right. I decided that I'm going to vibe with the Neil Groove Kieran uh, on his blues theme. Uh, I commented on one of his videos a couple days ago on, on the blues records he's showing us. Asked, hey, show me yours. I figured, why the hell not? So um, I had a little bit of time to do uh, some things, so I was digging through records for a couple other videos that I was doing, so I figured I'll oh, just grab a few blues things to show. Um, most of my blue stuff I happen to have on CD, but I do have a few vinyl pieces. A lot of what I have, you know, in vinyl, it's really hard to come by. So, you know, a lot of what I have is like re-releases. Um, but I'll show you a few things. And so, let's let's get started. So, um, the blues doesn't get shown as often as I'd like it to on the VC. You have to consider the blues is the roots to a lot of what everyone is showing on the VC. Um, but, you know, if you haven't been exposed to the, the blues and you want to get into it, um, there, there's a few artists that I, I recommend as a starting point. Uh, the first one is going to be John Lee Hooker. And, you know, John Lee Hooker was extremely prolific. Um, he recorded with a bunch of folks. Like, he, he did uh, the album called The Healer, which a few folks have shown just recently where, you know, he's playing with the likes of Bonnie Raitt and different artists in the 90s, but, you know, he did some work with ZZ Top. Um, but in the 60s and the 50s, that's when he was producing some of his best stuff, in my opinion. Um, he had one release on the, the Chess Records label, which, if you, you're not aware of Chess, Chess is like the, the blue note of blues. Uh, if you can find a Chess release, I mean, in... in, in really good shape. It usually goes to three or four four-figure sums. Um, so uh, John Lee Hooker did one chess release. I'd love to have it. I've never seen it in a while. Um, I have his stuff on CD that he did for blue, uh, chess. Um, this happens to be from BJ and this was a period where you know I thought he was putting out his best work. So this has stuff like Boogie Chillin'. So folks that like Led Zeppelin, hey, Boogie Chillin' is what they, they did during their uh, their uh, metal ease. So, like, Whole Lot of Love, Based and Confused in the early days. So, they played, uh, Robert Plant did Boogie Chillin'. So, Colin King Snake is great. I mean, highly influential. Um, the Doors, yeah. Big fans of that. Um, boom Boom, yeah. Whiskey and Women, yeah. Great stuff. This is a comp, but, you know, it's a good comp. Um, Early, well, I don't want to say early label, but you know, it's on the rainbow VJ label. Nice heavyweight pressing for the time. But uh, I was very happy to pick this one up because I like John Lee Hooker and it's uh, really difficult to find his stuff and used. Now, chess records I mentioned, really, really hard to find, find stuff, uh, originals that are in good shape, and I only have one original, but this is a, a repress or a re-release um, done by Analog Productions. This is a must-have. Um, this is the other artist that I recommend as a good starting point. Um, Buddy Waters, again, he was really prolific in the 60s, 70s, and 80s, did stuff with the Rolling Stones. Um, this is just an audiophile classic. Uh, if you're into audiophile type records, this is the, the blues album to get. Um, Analog Productions, did a nice skatefold with the, the folks that were in in the session. So you have uh, Willie Dixon here and uh, Buddy Guy, all acoustic session. All these guys did uh, one or two albums for chess. Um, I can't recommend this enough. MoFi also did this, but the MoFi pressing uh, goes for three figure sums from what I can what I've seen online. This is holographic. If you have a system. That's really good. Yeah, you get that three-dimensional imaging with these three. So, outstanding stuff. The next album I'll show uh, is George Harmonica Smith on the uh, Blind Pig label. Uh, Blind Pig is great. They're strictly a blues. I think they do a couple of Zydeco stuff, but... Um, George Harmonica uh, Smith was doing stuff in the 70s. This is just phenomenal work. I mean, uh, a lot of reverb. It just sounds like it was like in the, the 60s or late 50s blues uh, recordings. Um, I think I picked this one up through their website, um, and I got it cheaply. I think it was like 
16, 17 bucks at the time when I picked this up, and I recommend it. Um, now, the next thing I have is this is the the only original chess album that I have in my collection. This is Billy Stewart. Um, chess was interesting because they they did some rock stuff, um, and the rock stuff that they did do was kind of a mix of the blues. Like they did Bo Diddley, they did Chuck Berry. Um, Billy Stewart is kind of along the same vein. Um, this is great. This is a comp. Uh, I don't think it's an original though. It's on the the blue colored chess label, which I want to say was from the late 60s, 70s. Um, and some of the original chess labels were on black, so but that's it. That's a great sounding recording. Um, this here is Sonny Boy Williamson. This is uh, another reissue of a, a Blue Note. Uh, Sonny Boy Williamson, uh, if you're not familiar with it, uh, Led Zeppelin II has a song called Bring It On Home. Well, the original uh, composer of that song was Sonny Boy Williamson. And that's how I got interested in him. And this just happens to be the song that they, they did, uh, Bring It On Home. This particular issue was done on Speaker's Corner. Um, Speaker's Corner is based out of Germany. All the records are um, based out of Palace. Uh, everything that I've ever gotten from Speaker's Corner is just outstanding. And, you know, they do a great job to replicate the original label. I think uh, I'll show you one more thing today. Um, so, again, Blue stuff is really hard to come by in the used bins here, um, but when I see it, uh, especially the stuff put, being put out in the 60s and 50s, I'm going to snap it up if it's in good condition. Um, the next artist is one that, uh, another blues artist that was extremely prolific, that's Lightning Hopkins. Um, he has a huge back catalog. Um, this one was put out by uh, Prestige. Not sure if it was original pressing, but still a really good listen. Uh, very simple. Uh, acoustic guitar, harmonica. Here it is on the Prestige Green label. Uh, Prestige was, you know, they, you know, they're pretty known for their jazz, but uh, Prestige also did quite a few, a few uh, blues releases. So uh, I think uh, they also did a John Lee Hooker album again. John Lee Hooker, you know. He probably played for every single label out there, but uh, uh, I do have his prestige album on CD, and it's great stuff. So uh, I think I want to keep this video short. I do have a few other pieces. Maybe I'll do another video, but um, hopefully you enjoyed this, Kieran. Here's a few pieces of blues vinyl that I do have. Again, I don't have uh, 